Hello everyone, this is Satoshi Nakamoto, your guide in the world of Blues Guitar Lab. As some of you may remember, I've embarked on a new voyage into the uncharted waters of slide guitar. Despite my years strumming the guitar, slide guitar has remained a mystery, so I've started from square one, as green as I was when I first picked up a guitar as a child. From here on out, I will be documenting my progress and sharing the insights I gain in a vlog-style video series. Today, we dive into the realm of open D tuning. The physical limitations of the slide guitar make open tuning a common choice, and open D tuning presents a delightful harmony when the strings are struck open. The tuning sequence from the sixth to the first string, respectively, is D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. The sound of open strings is incredibly enchanting, indescribable, really, and somehow feels richer than fretted notes. The exact reasons for this still elude me. Next, I moved on to learning some fundamental chords. As blues guitarists, we're obligated to know at least three, aren't we? In addition to the open D chord, which involves just the open strings, I've picked up G and A7. The unfamiliar shapes brought back feelings of childlike wonder, as if I were rediscovering the joy of playing simple open chords. They sound fantastic. A deeper look into these chords reveals some intriguing traits. This particular version of G actually features B as a bass note, an inversion, and the A7 lacks the major third. These variations are presumably due to the inherent limitations of the instrument. You can also play G and A by barring all the strings with your index finger. This technique lets you play a major chord on any fret, an elegant aspect of slide guitar. This simple maneuver allows easy access to major chords and their chord tones. Let me give some chord changes a shot. Predictably, I feel as clumsy as any beginner. Venturing further, I experimented with power chords. This resonated with my familiarity with drop D tuning, so I tried out some blues licks. Turning our attention now to single note playing with a slide bar. I discovered that optimal guitar settings for slide playing typically involve thicker strings and higher action. When strumming the sixth through second strings, you should be able to cleanly play the first string without touching the guitar neck. Unfortunately, my guitar setup isn't quite ideal for slide guitar. It produces unwanted noise and the sound doesn't quite hit the mark. Looks like a guitar setup is in my near future. That's a snapshot of my journey so far. It might not seem like much, but each step feels like a thrilling leap to me. I can't wait to get my guitar set up properly and dive even deeper into practice. In the spirit of today's video, I will continue to produce content detailing my progress and sharing the lessons I learn. So stay tuned. Don't forget to check out our other educational guitar content too. Before you sign off, make sure to explore the Blues Guitar Lab free membership. You'll gain access to the first chapter of our step-by-step -step blues guitar courses, a selection of blues vocabulary videos, and other curated content, as well as access to our lively Blues Guitar Lab community. Sign up today. Get our free course at Blues Guitar Lab.